This is so crazy. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is crazy. Good morning, you guys. We are back in Massachusetts. We flew in yesterday for a funeral that Peter did. No. Should I start over? Okay. Good morning, you guys. We are actually in Massachusetts. Look, look, oh my goodness. Wait, you should go in. Peter, oh, you you okay. have to. Okay, well, let's drive by okay, here okay. first. Okay, oh. okay. We're just driving by the post office. We are on the street where we used to live and we are about to go see the house. I thought that I was gonna be like emotional, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm this is- kind of like overjoyed. We lived or, here. I don't know. It, oh man. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh, that oh, sign God. is still there. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna pull in front of our house. All right, you're good this way. Oh my goodness. So one thing that we never shared on the vlog for security reasons, we lived right next to the church and it was so wonderful. So that's the house we used to live in and that's the church. And it was great because <clears throat> on Sunday mornings, you know, I was really sick and Peter could go to the church, get things set up and then come back and help me get ready. So we lived here for <laughs> three and a half years. High house. Oh, and they have a table and chairs on the side porch and lights just like we did. Oh. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, so yeah, we lived in the house that was owned by the church and- oh, They have bird feeders. Um, and the church now rents the house to somebody. It's not the current pastor's house. And- Oh, they took out the Forsythia. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Just, changes. Just, just noticing changes around. But yeah, this is. So, did you show? Like, this is the house that we lived in. I oh, guess it's, that's this, it's our same um, curtains. And then there's the church that I pastored for four years. And. Oh, man. It's, so, one of the things. Go ahead. Were you gonna say something? I think it's, um, like, memories are wrapped up in places. Yes. And there's, in some ways, like, hard memories wrapped up here. Yeah. And other really sweet memories. Um, but in many ways I feel, I think I feel more removed from this than I thought I would. What do you mean by hard memories? Like your health yeah. and pastoring in that season got really hard yeah. um, because of not pastoring itself, but pastoring on top of caring for Mary um, just felt often like a tug of war. Yes. And um, it, yeah, it was just a lot of, well, a lot of exhaustion. Yeah. And a lot of um, tears were cried in these places. Yeah, my health was really declining rapidly for the years that we lived here. And, you know, we took it each day at a time. And we embraced life because that's what you have to do. There's no change in it. So we would drive about an hour to the hospital, an hour back, come home to this place, which was our home, and our heart felt thankful and happy to be here, and process all that happened at the hospital. And, you know, we spent so many hours out in this front yard. Ollie would run laps mm. around the house and we put in this there's a fence here on the side that we put in so that the yard would be fenced in and just yeah I'd be like really really sick 
and we'd figure out a way to bring me outside and let me lay on a blanket and you know mm. do IV antibiotics or have my feeding tube hooked up and in a way a, a lot of life that we lived here was very limited because of my health because of my capacity and our my physical capacity and our emotional capacity because we were handling so much of my health issues um but can i can i add, yeah, like, interject sure. here it was limited but full and i think that is something i will always take away from this place right here it our life was limited because of energy and sickness and capacity but it was a very full and fulfilling joy-filled joy and fulfilling and there were tears in those that joy but i think life uh, uh when you said life was limited it doesn't mean that life wasn't full no yes you're right and that's a good clarification i i think you know part of it was wanting to build relationships in this place in this town in our church and in our neighborhood and all of this wanting to build those relationships but really feeling the capacity like if I went to church on Sunday if I was able to go to church on Sunday morning which you guys now know was just a 20 second walk or when I was in the wheelchair a 20 second roll to the church doors um, if I went to church on Sunday morning I was pretty much like dead or I don't know what word you'd use like that was all I could do for that day and sometimes even the next day and then um, Wednesday night we had Bible study at our house and if I was able to do that I I just it wasn't like it is now now I go to church on Sunday morning we have leadership team meeting in the afternoon Sunday night we go to Target the next day um, babysitting somebody's child the next day we you know like it just doesn't end and so when I think back to then our life just looked different it was the same us it's the same sweet little family biking by our front gate here but um anyway just like it's okay so here's a question yeah. What would you say to us that lived there then? Mm. Wow. Well. I don't know. I, I, that feels too big. Uh, like The thing that's coming to my mind is like, it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was okay. coming to my mind was like, don't like don't stress about today don't stress about tomorrow like be present here yeah and life I, I guess oh. maybe maybe what I would say is what I just said a moment ago life may be limited right now but live a full life yeah like and I feel like yeah. that's what we did but I think feel like that's what we had to learn in that season as well and so like I if I could go back and tell myself something it's like you know it, it's okay that it's hard it's yeah. okay that um, the 22nd commute to church sometimes feels too long yeah and that's okay yeah and it's okay you feel pulled in different directions it's okay and like walk in that tension and live in it and God will walk with you yes. and, and I think like I, I think what I wanted to clarify is that life is no more full now than it was back then mm -hmm. yes it's full of much more capacity and we do more things and we just flew up yesterday and we're flying back today and yeah we have the capacity to do that but like yeah i i think and are you saying like life is full it was full of joy then it is full of joy now it was full of 
giving each other grace in a hard season then, it's full of giving each other grace now. Yeah. Like I, these sorts of fullness. I think, yeah, I think, I think it's just the recognition of don't view the full, don't view fullness of life as capacity or um, freedom from hard things. It's, embracing the moment in yeah. whatever life looks like yeah it can be full and fulfilling and purposeful yes. and sweet and um good i guess that's what it yes is. it's the goodness like ooh, life ooh. was good then it was hard life is good now and and there are hard and, it's and hard. there's there hard, hard and there's things, different yeah. but there's some of the hard is gone that we were walking through in this house and yeah. this season and um god is faithful in all of it yeah and i think you know part part of us might feel tempted to say to our back then selves just hold on trikafta is coming but that is not what i want to say to f back then mary and peter it's mm. like like you were saying, just be in today, get through today, there are no guarantees. And and I think part of that is also speaking to our future, yeah, our future self. Like, we don't know what tomorrow holds, mm -hmm. so continue to soak up today. Yep. Use each breath today. Yep. And, you know, part of me feels like, what if, what if tomorrow we get back into a season where my health is declining rapidly again? And it's like, no, 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 don't make me go back there. But the reality is we will be and we will be ourselves and we will walk through it just like we did for these three or four years. If and when that happens again, we will continue to... Um, embrace the fullness of joy that can be found even in the midst of suffering yeah. and yeah yeah and no season is wasted i think yeah i think that's something that i that i when we coming back into boston yesterday i think yeah. we were driving through the city and kind of seeing the exit we took for 10 years or no eight how many uh, years? 2011 to 2019. So eight years. Yeah. Yeah, eight years we lived in different places. And I think, and I was thinking about, you know, well, actually what I was thinking about was like, this was the exit at that season. And there was a different exit for another season yeah. that we took to get to the hospital. And that like, there's just like, we, we lived in several places around the Boston area in our first eight years of marriage. And there's so many each of those seasons shaped us yes. in different ways and they looked different yes. and we had different capacities and we had different um, jobs and different um, communities around us and yep. everything like everything was every season was completely ideal and every season was completely not ideal and that's life yeah yeah and I think another thing is to not cons not be hostile toward the hard past seasons, but to acknowledge the hard, process through the hard stuff, and um, and embrace the the joy and fullness that there was in that season as well. Um, yeah, we're outside the house we used to live in. I think there's so many memories. I think I want to walk into the church. You do? Do you still have a key? I don't, but the neighbors do. Okay. Yeah, that would be special. Okay. Okay. Hold, hold we'll on. we'll bring you guys with us. Um, that'll be tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow if you want to walk in the doors of those church the church with us again. Thanks for being here with us, guys. Thanks for being with us when we lived out here in Massachusetts. And as always, see you tomorrow, guys. Good, Good night. night.